Okay, folks, how you doing? This is Jeff from RV Diagnostics. I'm on vacation. My girl's out there in the heat on the beach down here in uh, Chincoteague Island. Um, it's a lovely little park. Uh, I was darn tempted yesterday to uh, help this guy with his RV and his Jeep that was giving him a problem, but uh, I'm on vacation. But... You know, and that's why we choose to go during the week because the weekend is really loaded. So let me give you a quick picture. What I'm going to eventually go over is uh, how voltage drops when a load comes in on a circuit. I'm just going to show you. I got these little meters that I put in. So here at Chicotink Island, notice that there's a lot of room around. They got some neat tents down there, right, right there, like you, like you big tent that's not for me this is me right here so i clean my batteries all up they're beautiful and yes that's what i do on vacation i play with my coach um so let's go let's go inside uh, oops hold on here close the door it's getting hot out i don't want nothing to do with it all right so now this is the beeve all right she's 1999 and I try my best to keep her up. Okay, so what we got is one of these. All right, let me show it to you. Um, that's a pretty nice little device. You can get any of them. You can get that one if you want or anybody, but I, I like the ones that have all the indicators. It tells you you've got an open ground, open neutral. It's even got a GFI reset, right? All right, now look, it's at 116. 115, 116, okay? Now, <coughs> this is a, a dual microwave convection oven and I got about nine seconds left on the convection I push convection because it takes a lot of watts okay now watch this I'm gonna hit the button now this is just one device okay here we go I'm gonna hit the button oh, ready all right so she's timing out ready 13 and see it now look 13 one sixteen. That dropped three volts AC, and it only pulled about five, six amps right there. All right, that's just to show you. And also, I got a coffee pot on this circuit, but it's not on. Okay, and I don't have too much else on this. This is my slide right here, and I don't have much else on. That was it. Got the microwave. Um, I even unplug my battery chargers to my phones. I don't want nothing drawing power and yes and if they're not hooked to the phone these consume a little bit of power not much but it all adds up in an RV all right so you saw that you saw the voltage drop now let's talk about these these air conditioning units now these are on a separate line themselves okay I got one up here that's a 13.5 BTU and then back here is 13.5 B. Oh, I walked right by the darn thing. I'm sorry. A 13.5 BU with heat pump. And that's original, 1999. I blow these things out two, three times a year. All right. So this is on a separate. Here's my circuit breaker box. All right. There's your 50 amps in, and each AC has that. Now, if I were to put a meter on this and fire this thing up you would see it okay but I don't have a meter on them and I do have my um, energy management system up front Hold on now. Let me, I'm but the idea is you just saw something simple is three to five amp AC load uh, activate on that circuit which wasn't much drop it three volts remember you can't go below you can't go below 108 volts AC on your air conditioner units. That's why I'm saying AC, air conditioner, and 108 volts, no lower alternating current voltage. Because this overworks your AC units. There, I guess my ducks. Right. Okay. Which means this thing, you're going to have to replace more often all right yeah i'm a little anal about my stuff but hey this is 1999 she's still going all right now i'm sure eventually i'll have to change them 
But anyway, thank you again. This is Jeff from RV Diagnostics. Thanks all my members out there. Don't forget the Facebook page, RV Diagnostics. Don't forget the website, www.rvdiagnostics.com. That's plural, diagnostics. And also the YouTube channel, RV Diagnostics. This is Jeff signing off. I'm on vacation. I'm going to go outside and uh, look at my tire pressure. It's, it's fun for me. Bye-bye.